Hello, dear friends. This is Moment of Harmony. This Moment of Harmony is with us here at Kardec Radio on day 17th. We have been studying messages that were brought by Euripides Barsanufo, a spirit of the highest stature in our planet, working directly with the Master, the governor of our planet, Jesus Christ, and many others. He was born in 1880 and then discarnated in 1918 at 30 years of age, 38 years of age, in the city of Sacramento in Brazil, state of Minas Gerais. And we are delighted to be invited each and every day to his messages that uh, calibrate ourselves, bring new serenity, and I would say unprecedented, inviting us to calmness, to faith, to compassion, to this mindfulness that we are all looking for, right friends? It is a joy and it is an honor and we are very grateful to Corina Novellino because she was the main medium in the messages we have been reading besides Chico Xavier. She worked with him for many, many years and later she kept the legacy of the school, of his works in the center and also psychographing messages of his. She was good friends with Chico Xavier and she showed those messages and others. And Chico Xavier was a good friend of Corina Novellino, vouching for the messages that were received. So besides it, our own reasoning can dictate to us the beauty, the, the validation of the greatness of these messages. Question for us. Why do superior spirits of this stature come and write to us? Because they are educators. They are committed to our progress, to our evolution. So tonight, or today, let us feel ourselves in a big classroom, shall we? What a joy, huh? Together, in different cities, different states, different countries, different continents. Let us stay together and visualize that we are in the same classroom and wherever we are, people with us are feeling the blessings of being together. Hmm? More than ever, we are here together to, because we are needed. Oh yes, no matter who you are, you are needed because you are awake and we need you to be doing your best wherever you are. They need us, right friends? So are you ready? Today we're gonna talk about the supervisor of the works that we do. Who is the supervisor? Not me. Is that you? Mm, let's check it out, shall we? Let us listen to the very instructions of our teacher, Professor Euripides Barsanufo. He says to all of us, my brothers and sisters, may your heart be sheltered with the holy peace of Jesus, our beloved Master. We are by your side for the blessed works of the divine harvest. And as always, we have our heart tuned to your purest ideals. Let us therefore dive into the work whose foundation are already built without fears, without hesitation. Jesus is the supervisor of the divine work in the world. He is with us. Therefore, his magnanimous and sweet look spreads light of hope and encouragement. Let us seek the eternal light of Jesus to guide our steps. 
There will be no obstacles that cannot be overcome with the tools of faith and hope. In reality, spiritual acquisitions require the experiences of successive lives. Rare are the spirits who accomplish such achievements in one existence. Far from bringing you discouragement, such facts should encourage you in the necessary triumph over yourselves. In combating bad tendencies lies the secret of spiritual advancement on the routes of progress. When corrected, the evil impulses reverberate in comparable victories of the spirit. Then, let us advance without hesitation, convinced that our efforts towards the good will produce the benefits, the blessed fruits of our regeneration with Jesus. On the other hand, let us work for the benefit of all, through the service of opportunities, helping our neighbors. The faith, the faith thus directed, will make our souls as blessed mirrors of eternal happiness, where the infinite mercy of the Father has united, tender and grateful. May the Master bless and support us. Professor Ibs Barsanufo, on June 10th, 1955. It's incredible. It sounds so trivial, but it's not. Oh yeah, I know, I know. No, let's go back and dissect because there are emotional elements here that we can't overlook. He talks about hesitation twice. Why? How often do you hesitate in your life? That's a therapeutic question we need to ask ourselves. As Jesus said to Nicodemus, it's not enough to know the scriptures. We need to feel them. Professor Riptis twice in this message talks about the feeling of fear and hesitation. How often during a day of 24 hours you feel hesitation. Hesitation to do the good. Oh, yeah. Like, for example, you plan on helping somebody, and then you're like, but what if that person thinks this way, or does that thing, or doesn't understand me? And then we don't do, we hesitate. So this message tonight is coming for us to tell us, advance, as he says, without hesitation. When we do the good, we do the good without thinking about it. Of course, we're organized, we plan it. But as, as uh, Dr. Bezer de Menezes used to say, when we think too much of how to do charity, it's late. And there is a beautiful message in the book, Jesus in the Home, by the spirit of Neil Lucio, through Chico Xavier, in which he talks about the very story that Jesus told the disciples once about a, an island where people needed help, medication and food, etc. People were supposed to get there and deliver help, and, and it never reached. When he got there, everybody was dead. And this is just my sum of a longer story, of course. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Like Chico Xavier said once, two women were walking in the street coming from an opera concert, and they saw this homeless person in a very cold night. They looked at the man and said, you know, I'll bring a coat tomorrow. But when they came back the next day, the person was dead. So there is, the time is now. And if you research on people who do not hesitate on doing the good, 
they will always tell you that they fulfill it because they feel it's the right thing. They never regret. The people I've heard, the regretting people are the ones who hesitated. So when we need to do the good, one rule of thumb is the following. If what comes to my mind is not going to harm anybody, not even myself, then it's the right thing to do. Now, not tomorrow, not in a year, not in 10,000 years. It's a decision. Again and again, we're being reminded to harmonize ourselves and rid ourselves of feelings of insecurity, of hesitation and fears, which are very primal feelings, very common. They still belong to the nature of our planet and to the nature of ourselves. Because we need to preserve ourselves and our world is very challenging in many ways. But in spite of it all, we're being called to use tools that can be very effective. If on one hand, Professor Rivitz Barsanufo tonight was telling us about doing the works of the good without hesitation, on the other hand, he talks about encouragement quite a lot. He uses the word encouragement quite at least three, four times here. And he says, number one, that Jesus is with us, giving us through his light the look as a supervisor. He's looking. He's observing us. How do you feel right now knowing that Jesus is observing you and is emanating to you the light of hope and encouragement? How would you feel? How do you actually feel? Because that's the reality. How do you feel? How is he looking at you now? With hope and encouragement. Mm -hmm. And he says to us that this spiritual acquisition shall be worked with the tools of faith and love. Pause for a minute. But Vanessa, I am not loving, but God is. And you are a child of God. The secret of it all lies in the fact that it's not us. As Emmanuel often says, everything that is good comes from God. So don't be shy. Let the light of God shine through you. We cannot create any longer obstacles for this light, your light. Remember, I am light, I am light. Your light, your peace, your joy of living. You are. And these are not mere words. These are certain, certain facts inside of us. So feel it. Breathe in and out and feel and allow faith and love that comes from God to shine through you. You are God's prism. You are the vessel through which God is shining his love light through you. Of course, you're a child of God. That certainty is what we call faith. Faith to be certain, to have that clarity of mind, that confidence. These are the elements that the gospel according to spiritism says to us regarding faith. It's that certainty. It's that confidence and the clarity of mind, the lucidity. We know we didn't create ourselves. Whomever created us is very, very intelligent. It's not a who, it's actually God. And God knows better. What we know is that God exists. God loves us and there's a beautiful destiny for us. All we need to do is to march forward as Professor Euripides Barsanufo is reminding us 
move forward. As Emmanuel says in the book Living Sprint, quite a lot. Press on. Press on. Advance. Move forward. Don't hesitate. And fears can be conquered through the openness of the heart to love. You know when sometimes you have to meet people and you're afraid? Afraid of them going through your boundaries? Feeling like your preservation is being threatened? Breathe in and out and say, God, I don't know how to walk this way. I don't know how to feel in that meeting, but you know I need to do it. Please show me the way and feel what Professor Lips Versanoff is saying. Jesus is the supervisor of the divine work in the world. And what is a divine work? Anything that is positive, that is good. So. If it's about your family, if it's about your work, if it's something that is benefit everybody, Jesus is supervising our lives and is looking at us without judgment. A sweet look, magnanimous and sweet look, spreading the lights of hope and encouragement as if at every moment Jesus is telling you, you can do it. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Listen to him. Close your eyes. That's the exercise and the homework for the next 24 hours. Everywhere you go, everywhere we go, let us feel that Jesus is looking at us with his sweet look, magnanimous, and is telling us, you can do it. I believe in you. Believe in yourself too. And he repeats, you can do it. I believe in you. You should believe in yourself too. Believe in yourself. And everything we do, everything, you're feeling it, say so, me too. Because I'm sure he didn't promise and he was not loving then. He is still loving. Jesus didn't disappear. He leaves. He's everywhere. He's with us. We feel the love. So again, visualize his magnanimous and sweet look. That's what Professor Ips Barsanoff is telling us. And he knew it because he is side by side with the Master. And he's saying, he is supervising your works with kindness to encourage you, to encourage us, and with hope and he says you can do it i believe in you believe in yourself let us write it down and do this exercise because in that lies the secret to overcoming our limitations which are temporary visualize yourself in decades from now in centuries from today, millennia from today, that's what Emmanuel says is visualizing the good. You, free from addictions, visualize every day. Instead of introducing yourself to people saying, hello, I'm this person and I'm addicted to chocolate. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Don't go there. You just say, hello, I am Vanessa Celoni in this life, but certainly much more than that. And I'm willing to learn to love and to progress. And I know you do too. The vices are temporary. Don't focus on them. Seek the good inside of you. Don't feel like, oh, I can't do this. I'm there I go again. No, tell yourself, I can do it. You can do it. Because you're not alone. You are not alone. Nobody's alone. And we have good spiritual company. Because the guardian angels, the protector spirits, the ones who really love us and want to see us progress, are team working with Jesus. We're not alone. 
feel the sweet and magnanimous look of the master and allow him to be present with you. And he says, when we change our vibration by working in our bad tendencies, he says, we reverberate vibrations are emitted and life starts to change around us. If you cannot yet feel, visualize it. You can do it, I can do it, we can do it together. That's what he's saying here to us. And he says, let us work to the benefit of others. Faith, this is most poetical, the most poetical part of it all. He says, when faith is thus directed, it will make our souls like a blessed mirror of eternal happiness, where the infinite mercy of the Father as united with us, tender and grateful. These are not the la la land of uh, something else that will never happen. On the contrary, it's an invitation to all of us to co-create, be positive. Don't be afraid of being optimistic because life is of God from God, with God, and to God. Don't be afraid, because there is only good in the universe. Everything else is just a temporary, temporary lack of it. But soon, the good is going to conquer it all. Let it conquer our hearts sooner than later. Shall we, my friends? A big hug to all of you, says. A big hug to Livia Moraes to Silvio Otero, to Raquel Bakeshi, to Rita Araújo, Marilda Veiga, to Angelita de Paula, our fraternity without borders, to our friend and brother Adilson, we cheer for you Adilson, to Laura Colihi, Laura, <laughs> ah, we need to talk, I'm so sorry I didn't reply yet. Patrícia Guiri Cardoso, big hug to you and Tiago, Patrícia. Andrea Torres, Narciso the Light Man, Karen Mark Smith, what a joy. Dulce, my friend, how are you? Teresa Castro, big hug to you. And Renata Casadei, how are you? Paula, my dear Paula, how are you? Adilis, Paulo, big hug. Katia, how are you? Leia Severo, what a joy. Aura Auri Alves, a big hug. Nora Brasil, how are you? Sunshine. Karina Alice, ai Karina Alice. Mariana de Andrade, a big hug to our Mariana, right? Rudy, I know Rudy. We should we have to visualize Jupiter, right? Thank you, Laura. So for those two two announcements before we wrap up, huh? Get forget for those who wanted to do the reincarnation 101 online, we apologize. We had some technical difficulties. That that's why we couldn't do it. But we talked to our team and we made a plan. We're going to tape it just for you and release it. As soon as we know that everything is taped up, we'll fo we will post on YouTube and we'll share it with you, okay? It's going to be more dynamic in a different way for those who are online, all right? We're going to customize it for you, okay, friends? The other thing, the symposium. Are you packing already? Yes, it's in a month. Mm-hmm, a month, exactly. In a month, we're gonna be meeting in Washington, D.C., okay? And we need your help. We need your help. Your help to be there. And if you're there, 
You can work with us at Kardec Radio because we need people to help us at Kardec Radio. There are many things and we count on you. Okay? Is that all right with you? I hope so. And for those who want to have their hotel accommodations paid, Kardec Radio is. Yes, we are we have a contest for those who create two video clips for the event of the youth in July. The best two clips will win hotel accommodations in Washington DC. Good Dulcinea, that's gonna be wonderful. We'll count on you as well. Okay, friends, and you can visit the Spiritist Center in Virginia, visit Kardec Radio Studios, because we'll have special activities the week before and the week after for those who want to stay longer and participate. For now, to wrap up our beautiful day and or night, right, depending on where you are, let us feel the supervisor of the divine work in the world, Jesus with his magnanimous and sweet look, spreading hope and encouragement, saying to us, you can do it. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. Okay? A big kiss and a hug to all of you, and until tomorrow, God willing, in another moment of harmony with Professor Euripides Barsanuf. Many blessings, friends, and until tomorrow.